dimensional content for dimensional lovers. Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. If you want to be a better tarantula keeper or just admire these amazing animals, make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below and give this video a huge thumbs up. In this week's episode, I'm rehousing my female Ferrophosinae species Rotan. So let's do it. So we're going to be rehousing this female Ferrophosinae species Rotan. Now, I did purchase this as a breeding pair from the spider shop, but unfortunately, the male turned up DOA. And the spider shop were great. They uh, didn't have a, a male in stock, so they did send out an Aphonopelma species diamond back as compensation in it if that's the right word to use as a replacement because unfortunately males of this species are very hard to come by now i am going to reuse the decoration inside this enclosure in the new enclosure so i am going to take it out first and hopefully this girl doesn't freak out and bolt around now these are generally tend to be a very very calm species so I'm not expecting any wild behavior see that was pretty straightforward she's not phased so it's all good but what we are gonna do is put this inside the famous catch tube that I've started using now in all my rehouse videos and it is an absolute lifesaver. Go on. No, Ian's. Come on. Go on. We're putting you in a new enclosure. Go on. Up you go. Boop, 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 boop. See? Really, really well behaved absolutely beautiful species so here she is in the catch tube absolutely beautiful now this one is nowhere near fully grown uh, this species even though it's quite a fast grower does get to be five to six inches in diag diagonal leg span similar to like a brachypelma sort of size maybe a smaller gramostola so she's got a hell of a lot of growing to do. Now, I haven't raised one of these as a sling, but I would keep them in the same way as any other sling in my collection, in a little vial or sling pot with some moist substrate, and I'd feed it every other day, small crickets or small mealworms. And then as it starts to put on size like this one, I'll start giving it larger crickets. But once it reaches that five to six inch mark, one du large dubia every week or every other week, and it'll be just fine. Temperature wise, I keep all my tarantulas in the tarantula room at 24 degrees. They all seem to do well, have no molting issues whatsoever. Now, these guys have been reported that they do like to bur burrow so I will keep the lower levels of the substrate in the enclosure moist so it can burrow down and appreciate the moist moist layers in there but if it sits out on top that's not a problem this is an absolutely beautiful tarantula and I don't mind looking at it all year round now temperament wise these guys are pretty chilled and laid back as you saw when I was putting her in the catch tube there wasn't any panic there wasn't any fret postures or defensive behavior but take that with a pinch of salt because as I've shown in previous videos over the past couple of weeks with new world tarantulas even though they do have those urticating hairs which is their main form of defense they are very very capable of throwing up fret postures and getting defensive now you shouldn't really see it but 
it does happen so be careful even though these are pretty laid back and you shouldn't see it every tarantula you should have an air of caution around you and expect the unexpected so with all that said let's get this girl into her new enclosure i think she's going to be happy in it so here's the new enclosure that she's going into i don't know if you noticed i have put in the piece of cork bark that she had in her old enclosure and some of this fake plants that was in there as well now this enclosure itself is a custom aquaria enclosure i picked this one up at the british tarantula society exhibition of steve thornton we did a swap i gave him a juvenile brachypelma auratum and also a gb beesling and in return he gave me three of these enclosures so it's about time i started filling them up i've got another two that something needs to go in them but she's going in this one hopefully she'll be really happy as you can see i have got substrate in here now this is a different substrate to what i usually use this is a potting soil but multi-purpose potting soil it's got cocoa fiber in there it's got topsoil in there it's got all loads of different stuff in there it's not got peat in it though i specifically chose one without peat because i don't like the damage that it does to the environment We've also got some pieces of sphagnum moss in here just to hold a little bit of humidity in there, some leaf litter, and that's it. I will be putting a water dish in here as well once we've got her in there. So now you know everything in the enclosure. Oh, the size of the enclosure is 20 high, 20 deep, and 30 wide. So 20, 20, 30. Now all that said, let's get her in there. So here we go, let's take the lid off this. Let's place this in here like so. And now let's just give her a little, little push in the right direction and hopefully she comes out with very minimum of fuss. Go on, down you go. Come on, being very stubborn, very stubborn. You can do it, that's it. She doesn't want to go into this new enclosure. But there's that calm temperament I was talking about. And she's not even flicking hairs on her way in. Go on, keep going, that's it, go on, all the way down, let's just lift this up, no, don't back up, in you go, you're nearly there, there you go. See, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Hopefully you enjoy it in there, in amongst the leaves. And she is an absolute beauty. Now, I don't know if you can see it, the purple coloration on the legs. She does have a brown coloration on her carapace. The males of this species are a gorgeous, bright purple all over. I can see why Greg over at Eight Legs Four Wheel is absolutely in love with this species. They are fantastic. So now I'm going to leave her there to get settled in. And this is going to be the end of the rehouse. So there you have it, another straightforward rehouse of an absolutely beautiful tarantula. I'm going to leave her there to get settled in and hopefully she enjoys the new enclosure. So now all that's been done, all I have to say is have a great day, have a great week, take care and I will see you in the next video. And if you can't wait till then, there's a couple here to tide you over. See you later. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers.